It is hot in here. It is very hot. Yeah. It is. So, okay, so when we're talking about that, this chart right here, right, and we figured that out with X of L up here and X of C here, well, we went up because X total was a positive number. But what if we had like X of L was 1,500 and X of C was 2,500 ohms, ohms. So it would be 1,500 minus 2,500 would be negative 1,000. Well, then we'd know that it's X of C is down here and it goes this way. Well, I'm sorry, it doesn't go that way, it goes this way. <laughs> Duh. It would be down here. So it's this angle. It doesn't make a lot of difference. It just. It would be negative, though, though, right? Yeah. The angle. Yes. So you're going to get negative numbers. Let's see here. Let's do one more together. What are we doing? One more. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do, let me clear this off. Want me to do it with you? You just want to do it. Okay. Here's what I got. Pass these out. Well, I got a lot of them. Um, you don't have to do it. I don't care. The answers are in Canvas. But if you want to practice, you want to sit there, you think you know what you're doing, and you just want to do your thing, do your thing. You might already. I'm not, it's just for you to practice. The oh, answers are, this I'm going to do one on the board just a minute. Oh, okay. But for this those people who are like, Kevin, you're moving way too slow for me. Okay. This is like the series parallel thing that we had before this, that you handed out. No, it's a series A series block. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not like it at all. It's totally different. In what respect? Yes, but the one that I had up for was an actual place you got credit. Oh, yeah. 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 And right on it. That's for you to practice. Because every year people go, hey, Kevin, you have something we can practice with? And I'm, I don't know. I can play 10. So, again, the answers are on uh, I, Canvas. I had I noticed uh, a little bit of an error. One of them was different. And so, know, it's too bad you couldn't do this. But I will tell you the secret. My dirty little secret. Um, let me see. Ohm's law AC. AC formulas. If you're good with Excel, you just make an Excel sheet and just plug it in. I'll tell you all the answers right there. That <laughs> <laughs> was easy. <laughs> what do you use? I don't know. I actually got to use my joke the other day. Somebody said, uh, can you fax that over? I said, I can't fax where I'm at. Where are you? <laughs> You're 2021. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. So what we'll do is we'll jump down and we'll do on this piece of paper number six. Yeah, for those of you who want to do it. So number six. So first thing is, so number six, so you can look at that. So what are we going to do? First thing I want to find X of L, which is two pi F L. So two, just show of hands, who's with me and who's doing their own thing? I mean, it's totally fine with me. Who's with me? I'm with you. Okay, I just wanted to know if I was like, everybody had their head down, I would just be like, oh, you're, you're all right, you're good, you're good. Okay, so 2 pi FL, so I gotta make sure I keep up. So um, 2 times pi, what is my frequency here, Kenneth? 1,000, 1 K, and my L is, we're doing number six on here. I'm sorry, you know what, let me just, so that everybody's on the same page. Let's do it like this. So we've got, um, we've got that, we've got the resistance, we've got the coil, we've got the capacitor. There we go. So we've got number six, we've got one volt, we've got one K hertz, Oh, yeah, it is. It's 1,000K. 1,000K, which would be 1 meg, 1K hertz. That's a lot more zeros. Uh, we've got 20 ohms up here, 20 ohms. We've got 90 U Henry's, micro Henry's, and 250 pico farads. Pico farads. All right. Got that? So we're back down here. Well, this is wrong already. Okay, so that's one. I, that's not appropriate to say 1000K, but I did it. So one meg times the L, which is 90 picos. I don't need to write the Henry's. So another way to look at that would be two times pi times one times 10 to the six times 90 times 10 to the negative six. So let's see, two times, and, and I like to write it like I just did here because I can put it in my calculator that way and it's easier. So two times pi times one second EE e to the sixth times 90 second EE e to the minus six equals, what'd you get? 565.487. Times four, eight, you got it, that's what I got, ohms. Don't forget the ohms. Okay. X of C equals one over two pi F C. So that's two times pi times one 10 to the six times C be 250 pico. That's times 10 to the negative 12. X of C equals, anybody get it? 636.620, if you like, ohms. Now what? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get X total on here. So 565 five minus 487 minus 636.620. Six 
So x total equals So what does that mean? That's why I picked this one. It's a capacitive circuit. As long as the resistance doesn't beat it, it is capacitive now. Okay, now we want Z, right? So Z equals the square root of R squared plus well, we have x total, so we can just say x total right there. What the heck, squared. So that is the square root of resistance for 6 was 20. 20 squared plus 71.133 squared. Now, it is a negative number, but it's not going to matter because a negative times negative is a positive, so don't have to worry about that. So second square root function. 20 carat 2, close parentheses. Oops, I should have put another parentheses in there. Eh, I think it'll work. Anybody get an answer yet? 73. I got 74 on my calculator. On my paper, I have 73, so it's going to be about that. <coughs> I did 20 squared plus 7, 1.33 squared, square root of that, so it's just. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. 71 point. Oh, yep, there's my problem. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, how about that? Yep. What'd you get? Just make sure that you have the right numbers. 20 squared plus 71.133. I actually punched it at 71.33 the first time I did it. Now, the nice thing is you, you'll be off, but when you're doing your answers and you turn in your paper, I want to see that. I'm like, eh, I'm kind of like, eh, close enough. If you understand it. Well, if you're way off and understand it, it's not going to matter. Okay, what comes after Z? IT. Okay, I total. And the formula for that is? E over Z. E over Z. Now, if you were quick at it, looking at it, you already had the 73.891 in your calculator. You could have just hit the X minus 1 key, which is the same thing, but, mm -hmm. or don't worry about it. But it's 0 0.0135 amps. Well, that's not very much. So 1, 2, 3, or 13.5 milliamps. I wouldn't get all crazy and be doing milliamps on this. To be quite honest with you, some of you aren't very good at doing that. I'm, when I'm watching your oral, you just uh, you just punch in numbers until something looks right. I see that, like 0 0.0135, 0 0.35, 0 0.135, and then you just keep doing it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yay, you got it. All right. Um, 
What do we got next? Um, but E of R, E of L, and E of X. Okay. So E of R is? I times R. I times R. E of L is? I times X of L and E of L. Oops. How's that to be C? And E of C is I times X of C. So point zero one three five times was that twenty? Twenty. Point zero one three five times X of L, which was Five six five point four nine, I think, and point zero one three five times six three six point six two, something about that. When you're ready, you tell me what they are. Point two seven yep. volts. Yep. Yep. Next one. Seven point six three three volts. Seven point six three three volts. Uh, let me see. I have on my little cheat sheet that I got from Excel is seven point six five three. It's very close. Anybody have any, something different? Okay, that's fine, totally fine. So as long as you're very close to that, you're good. X of C? 8.594. 8.594. Thereabouts. 8.6, something like that. You're doing fine. All right, power factor. Formula is? I squared times R, so 0 0.0135 squared times 20 equals? Um, Wait, is that supposed to be power true or? Oh, I did power, sorry, it can't do power factor yet. That's what I asked for. We got to do power true first. Power true equals. No, what was the formula? I times R. There we go. Which is 0 0.0135 squared times R, which is 20, which is equal to. Point zero zero. 366, six, which would be point zero zero 0.004 is fine. Thank you. Power, power parent is uh, Z times R? No, I squared times Z. I squared times Z, right? Okay. Which is point zero one three five squared times Z, which was... Seven three point eight eight eight. Is that about right? Seven three eight nine one equals zero point zero one three five. Everybody agree? Not amp hours. Volt amps. <laughs> No, that'd be F-A. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we do the 
power factor, which is P true by P app. So it's 0 0.00366 divided by 0 0.0135 equals Okay, about 0.296, about 0.3. <laughs> Don't be getting too crazy with your rounding. All right, now what? All right, we've got to have the angle on the dangle. So, and it's fine, you can just, well, just at least try to draw a decent triangle. All right, so there's our thing. Here's our angle of theta is down this way. So my z is 73.9-ish, right? And my xt, which is actually a negative number, is 71.2133. Well, let's go 71.2. So take your pick. Sine, cosine, tangent, what do you like? Uh, sine. sine, okay, so sine, so arc sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. There is a advantage to doing um, tangent and I'll tell you what that is, is Z took you, it was, was kind of a hard one to get, right? Because that was the R squared plus and all that, but your resistance, which is given here at 20 ohms, all you gotta do is look at the paper for that one, don't you? Okay, so the, the easiest one to get on your paper is gonna be this. The second easiest is that. So given that, you would probably be better off using tangent, arctan, because you're using opposite over adjacent. And those were the easiest ones to get. So you know, if you did it all right, it won't matter. But it's just something I would do. So opposite, um, oops, second. Tangent 71.2 divided by 20, close the parentheses, equals 74.31. The problem is you're not going to get a negative because that number right there ended up being, I think, was it negative? Yeah, it did come out negative. Sorry. Yeah. So I got a, I don't know if I did something wrong. I got a different answer when I did sine. I got 74.6. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. 74. I got 74.3. You're at 74.4. It's okay. close enough. If you were at 36 or 92, then you'd be off. Okay. Um, I would probably take anything of 74. Four to seventy-five. Okay, that's stop that.